Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick little view about State of Decay, which is amazing. This is an awesome like polish and re-release of a, uh, a 360 game. Um, see that little fluke there? So yes, there are still little glitches and flukes, but it is way, way, way better than it was. It is super polished. The textures are amazing. The game just looks and feels just awesome. It's great. Um, it's a fun survival game that you control the pace of. Uh, there are time-sensitive missions that pop up, both like secondary and tertiary missions, but also your main missions can sometimes be time-sensitive. If you think, you know, oh, I'll go get the doctor later, I'll get the doctor later, eventually the person you're getting the doctor for might actually die. Um, there's a lot to do in this game, uh, with all the side missions and stuff, and all the places to explore, the different towns to explore, and then just hanging out in the fields and stuff and, and going from farm to farm looking for resources. It's amazing. It's again it's just really well done. I'm 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 surprised with the amount of just exploring and, and fun there is. Um, also with this re-release uh, there's some new content. Not only does this come with all the DLCs, but it also has some other new fun surprises that I'm not gonna give away. You're just gonna have to find them on your own. <coughs> Cleo <coughs> um, there is no co-op still, and I don't know. There was a rumor that there was going to be this add-on that would allow us to play co-op, but there's still no co-op. You can ask companions, like people who, who are in your, your enclave with you to come with you, and that's fun, but it would be more fun if this was a multiplayer game. But anyway. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. There's not really a whole lot else to say. It's just, it's really well done. It's There are some things I would change, but it's really well done. Um, the Lifeline DLC is a friggin' riot. I can't believe it. It's so much fun. It is awesome, and no matter how many times I go through it, I enjoy it every time. Um, the Breakdown DLC pisses me off. It gets exponentially harder the, the further you get into it, but that's the idea. It's still fun. It's just brutal. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, one thing that kind of pissed me off is you can be seen through cover. So if you hide in cover, that's all well and good, everything is fine. But if you're on like the far side of cover, and a horde is walking towards said cover, you'll be seen through it, which doesn't really make sense, but whatever. It's good. They, Undead Labs did a really, really good job on this game. Um, it was worth every penny, I will say that. It was worth every single penny. Um, it's kind of like a, a neat post-apocalyptic GTA. You can see here's some driving footage. There's been some bad shooting footage. Usually a pretty good shot, but, you know, when the DVR is going, all bets are off. Um, I don't know. I'm done talking before the video is over. Oh, yeah, that's... Crafting. Ali said crafting. You can craft in-game, sort of. It's kind of... I don't know, I don't want to say rudimentary, but sort of, maybe. You don't craft, you kind of tell the people at your base to craft something. So, for example, if you have a uh, munitions um, workshop set up, you can craft different explosives, and you can learn to make bullets eventually. You have to research that at a library, so you need a library for that. So... Yeah, you can sort of have crafting set up, um, but I can't really do a quick and dirty video about something like that because it's it doesn't really work. It's not like like you're using your your found resource stockpiles to craft things. So, for example, if I were to do a quick and dirty video of like making snacks in game, you take some of your food stockpile resources and make a snack. Basically, you put food in a bag and then you can take it in your pocket as you go. So yeah, a survival game with an end that is like a light horror with a never-ending supply of side quests to do, um, and a whole boatload of achievements. If you're an achievement whore like me, some of these are a real treat to get. Um, some of them are a real challenge to get, but that's what makes it all magic. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about the game, anything you want to know, uh, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Anyway, thanks for watching.